Welcome to an overview video for the OpenStax textbook, College Physics. My name is Dr. Wolsey and I'm recording this video for Grand Rapids Community College, where we use this textbook for Physics 125 and Physics 126. When you first visit the OpenStax website, you can get to the textbook by going all the way through this um, link shown at the top, openstax.org slash details slash books slash college dash physics. Or you can visit the subjects and go to science and scroll down until you find it. We don't want the AP courses version and we don't want the high school version. We want college physics. And when you click on that link, it brings you to this landing site. With this Book, as with most OpenStax textbooks, there are a variety of different formats available. I am going to highlight in this video two different versions for us, the online format and the PDF. So I'll download the PDF, and that's going to take a little bit to load, but while we're waiting, we can view the textbook online. A couple of key things to note about this format of the textbook. On the left, there is a table of contents that if you get rid of, you can always click back to. And so you can, if you know that you want to explore a little bit more a particular topic, you can click directly to that section and scroll through and read the relevant information. And at the end of each section, you can click Next or Previous. In addition, if you are searching for a particular topic, you can, in the search bar, find all instances of a term or phrase. It will load here on the left all of the different times where that term or phrase might be used. In addition to those aspects, one thing that OpenStax has very recently implemented is the ability to highlight and take notes. These features require you to sign in to an OpenStax account. You do not need to sign in to an OpenStax account to view the textbook, but if you want to use the highlighting features, then you need to do so with, um, with an account. Now, the way that this process works is at any point if you want to remind yourself of something, you can click and drag your cursor, highlighting the text. You could choose a particular color to use. Maybe you want to take notes about a certain category of ideas in one color and a different category of ideas in another. And you can make notes to yourself. When you save those different things, those now are available, and if you hover over them or click, it shows you the note that you made. But more importantly, they show up in this My Highlights area where it will list everything that you put into your highlights and notes. But you can search by chapter or by color that you used. You can also print out the notes that you have either directly to a printer or to save as a PDF where it will show the specific location where that note was found. In addition to the note-taking availability here for the textbook and the search features, at the beginning of every chapter, in the introduction, there's an outline that indicates what is covered in that chapter and links to each different section that's relevant. And at the end, there's a glossary of terms. These can be very useful if after reviewing um, lecture, you're still struggling to understand the different terms that showed up. There are section summaries that might be useful to review after you've watched the lecture videos or been part of lecture for that chapter. And you can kind of remind yourself of what the key things were. And then there are conceptual questions, which are more word-based answers. 
and problems and exercises, which are more quantitative-based um, questions and answers. And that's true for all of the different chapters. There's really nothing particularly special about this online format that other textbooks don't also have, besides the very important and very notable fact that it is free to access and does not require any kind of sign-in to see the textbook, just to use the highlighting features. Now this is a PDF that is a very large file, but the nice thing about it is when you are on campus or near a reliable Wi-Fi source, you can download it once, and then you can access the textbook even without an internet connection at home. Now, this textbook is over 1,500 pages, but again, it is used in both Physics 125 and Physics 126 here at Grand Rapids Community College, and so we don't cover the entire textbook in a single semester. And even with those two semesters together, we don't cover all of the pages. Now, a couple of things that I want to note. Once you get to the table of contents, what you have access to, just like the online um, version, is a clickable table of contents. If you want to go straight to the projectile motion section, you can click and it will bring you directly there. There are links back and forth um, to different sections that are relevant and links to figures. Now, a couple of other key things that I want to point out here. Um, all of this text should be machine readable, but there are going to be um, throughout the textbook equations that are not necessarily machine readable in this PDF, but should be properly coded in the web version um, for that. In addition, um, throughout the textbook, with the different um, layouts here, we probably won't ever really um, reference pages specifically in the textbook because not everyone is using the PDF format. And the PDF format gets updated often enough that page numbers aren't as relevant as section numbers. There are also a lot of um, external links that are clickable in the PDF itself. You are welcome and um, encouraged to have this PDF copy on your computer during the semesters you're taking these courses and beyond. It is not a copyrighted book and it's not illegal to have this PDF, unlike some of the PDF versions of commercial textbooks that you might be able to find online. When we mean free, we mean free. And um, throughout the um, textbook, at the end of different sections, let me scroll down to the end of chapter 7, for example, at the end of different sections are the same things that you can see in the online format, the glossary of different terms, the section summaries, as well as the concept questions and the problems and exercises. The last thing that I'll note is because this textbook is machine readable, you can do control F and find anything it is that you need to find in the textbook and it will highlight for you all of the different places where that term is used. So I hope that this gives you a better understanding of um, what we mean by having access to this textbook you are allowed, certainly, to purchase or rent the physical copy of the book. Many students find that they learn better if they can flip the physical pages, and we totally understand that. The book is available through the bookstore and um, through various online marketplaces, uh, and it's intended to be sold for the cost of printing, so somewhere between $40 and $60. If you have questions about the book, please contact your instructor. It is very likely that if you're taking this course and using this book here at Grand Rapids Community College, your instructor is either me, Professor Woolsey, or it is Professor Siebelak, um, who teaches the other sections of Physics 125 and the majority of the 126 sections. We look forward to working with you and to answering any questions that you have. 
And we hope that this book is a useful resource for you as we learn physics together.